I think everybody can recognise the old fisherman has come out. I think it's something we've got hat on, but everybody will recommend, recognise. And I'm so, trying to keep warm. Archbishop, you know there's a lot of them um, concerned and a lot of pain. I do I indeed, which is why I came them. out to listen to you. Thank you. Um, ben is still, I don't think he's there. Got him gone, and you'll have heard And we'll be say. having a meeting next week, Ben. Yeah. With anyone, you, uh, any MP no. you choose to bring. Thank you. And um, we will. Will you be able to have a meeting with some of the LGBT folk here? Because I think a lot of people just not feel that... I've got not 90 people for a service. I know, I know you do. But in, I think one of the problems a lot of people feel is that their pain and their difficulty of what the church's teaching is meant for them hasn't truly been taken on board. I know we've had LNF processes, but their access to bishops and archbishops who've made the decisions... I've been listening for six years. Well, and that's okay, one so that's a no they, then. Okay. That's a no, because I haven't got any space in my diary. I'm off to South Sudan next week with the Pope and the moderator of the Church of Scotland to try and put an end to a civil war that's cost half a million lives since 2014. And that's really difficult. I'm but sure that our lives are being lost too. Theirs and are being lost at the rate of 500 a day. Right, so it's a competition. It's not either or. No, it's not it's either all or. It's, it's no, exactly. Peter, it's not, but I can't be in two places at the no, same time. Sure. No, but what and I have right? to pay attention to everything for which I'm responsible around the world, and not only the UK. I really understand that. But I think what we need to hear is that our lives count too. Your lives count very greatly, and that's where we're going to spend three whole days of silly talking about this. Well, let's hope we can move things on. Can you understand just how painful and salty it feels when the church will bless dogs and guinea pigs and now has finally deemed to bless us but not give us any more rights than dogs and guinea pigs? Yes. Isn't that shameful? It is in a deeply divided church where we managed to get to, but as you know, as well as I do, the church in this country, and around the world, and all the global churches, are completely divided on this. And we had, as the Bishop of Manchester said last week, we, he said, and he's strongly and would hold your view very strongly, he said, we don't have the vote. But what we heard at Lambeth just was a commitment to recognising the difference of view and recognising what I see as the tradition of Anglicanism, which is difference in conscience. And surely that's what we're asking for here. It's an opportunity to have Absolutely. difference in conscience on marriage, not on second class uh, blessings, which don't even bless our relationships, they just bless us. What we're asking is for equality. And surely the I'm number of clergy who want to be able to do that. There are right. a number of clergy who want to be able to do that here to be able to do that, as you know, because you were on uh, Archbishop's Council, Council yes. for a long time, with rather different views. Yes, and I nearly um, died because of and, that. And and um, the uh, as you know, to get something through to give equal marriage would need uh, legislation, and legislation has to carry by two thirds in each House of Senate. So let's do what we can now, and then see what happens. Well, I, I hear you. I suggest it's about leadership because ultimately, if we truly understood the whole point calls. Then actually, which is what I heard at Lambeth, I heard many archbishops and bishops from Africa asking if I could give them the training materials and the education they need. Absolutely, and let's go ahead with that. And if you remember at Lambeth, I took a huge risk, I bet the whole communion, on saying what you're just saying, that people like yourselves who have this view are acting with complete integrity, which has never been said before, and are acting not on the basis that you're ditching what we, um, that you're ditching what the church has always held, but you, you are that having prayed and thought and reflected over a long time, you've come to a different conclusion. 
and the, the reality is that in the church, as in loads of other churches, um, you take a much longer line than we do. And we are the first global church to do this, that across the churches... I'm sorry, I can't hear. Well, he's asking us to shout a bit louder. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I have hearing aids anyway, so I was struggling. Um, what we have tried to do is go as far as we can to get an answer now which is what we've done. If we go any further, it's three years of legislative fighting and quite possibly a defeat at the end of it. I, do, I want to give you something. I don't want to give you. The bishops together want to do something that avoids that and the discussion continues. But Trish, you didn't have the votes on women bishops. Uh, we did time. in the end, the yeah, first time. That's, that's after one? you personally showed great leadership in getting that through. Yeah. And it took a lot of very hard work. Well, Archbishop, we've got compromise on divorce. We've got compromise. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I've been arguing that. So why why have we now not got compromise? It's Where's you what we asked? It's for? not about marriage, is it? It's about being treated as equal members of the body of Christ. I agree with and, that. And, and I fear that so much of how it's been framed is about us us having a view that we want to get married. No, we just want to know that we're the same as everybody I, else. I tell you, last Tuesday at the College of Bishops, I never heard that view expressed. What I heard was people saying, how can we do now the best we can do? And some people were um, saying that's too far, and others were saying, um, I don't know who that was, uh, and others were saying, um, uh, it, oh, no, that's not it. sorry, it's there's someone who, oh, I don't know. Could you not show some personal leadership? is something you could do as the Archbishop of Canterbury, even within the UK, start with the UK and then obviously we can look globally, but with the UK you could show some personal leadership I, I to think carry people with you. If you were to I have been something. very instrumental in carrying it as far as I could to get things to where we are today. I don't have the votes to go further. Ben, but you can you say to Ben, Ben, why did we have austerity between 2010 and 2018, 19? Why didn't you stop it? And you'd say, we didn't have the votes. No, it's, it's, we, it's, we don't have the votes. That's why people won't come to your church and join. But we don't. It's a democratic yeah. election. Yeah. I can't control it. To I talk issue, about... You've issued an apology. Apology in Christian terms implies repentance, but gay people in the Church of England will consider, continue to be treated as second-class citizens who can't get married. Therefore, that apology is meaningless. Will you withdraw it? No, I won't, because it was... I don't have the right to withdraw it. It was issued by all the bishops. It would have to be... Will you dissociate be... yourself from it? I do not, actually, because apology, if you'll forgive me saying so, is much more complicated than you've put it. And it is always a process in which you start and then you try and make progress. But do you realise that an apology has to be either accepted or rejected? And we are uh, rejecting that apology because yep, you have absolutely. hurt us deeply. I Some do of us have I feared do, for our ministry I do over the last six years. I do realise that. And it's interesting that I've equally had significant numbers of gay clergy in partnerships who have said thank you for it. So there is a range of views out there. There is. And some of us will be compliant and some of us will not be able to be compliant. Some of us will but be I able to accept that. the apology and some of us won't. Do you accept that we can't accept yeah, that apology? Yeah. Can, we can, can you accept now? can you see the way it looks? This looks like those churches in South Africa doing apartheid who refuse to marry interracial couples. Yeah. That's what yeah. it looks like. It looks like bare-faced discrimination. You would never discriminate against black people in the way that you're discriminating against LGBT. Yeah. And I worked in the Diocese of Central Zambia, and I have had more homophobia in the Church of England 
than I had in the Diocese of Central Zambia and in Zambia as a whole. I felt safer there than I feel here. Well, I think that is really bad. Um, and uh, certainly the lack of safety is a worry, is more than a worry, it's a disgrace. And you need to work, I, I'm a youth worker, I work with young people. I would, last week was sat in a cafe with a young person who was 15 years old, breaking her heart, talking about suicide because the church she was coming from, she did not feel I've safe or welcome. Dozens and dozens over I the have last two few years. And, I and that's have because two. of our teaching that we allow in our churches. And you watch, and Bishop, you, to come back to the leadership thing, when, you know, you don't have to reach out to the whole Anglican communion. Your choice- I know I was talking your, about church fingers. Yes, but, but your choice not to choose to bless couples yourself because of your role as primate of the communion. That speaks volumes. It sounds like a yeah. theology of taint, just like those that no, won't ordain it, and consecrate it, women bishops. I would like very much to pray for people uh, to use those resources. But then do it. No, because I care equally for people around the world and not just for people in this country. And I that's face. Do, do you? Do you? Yes, I do, and that's it, why I risked my life did you hear, doing that. Did you hear what the Archbishop of Uganda said at Christmas? Yes, and he, I he publicly let, rebuked him. Everybody know, he said it'd be better for parents to drown their children than let them be gay. And he refuses to come to any meeting that I'm at because I have rebuked him exactly for that. For that precise, that precise yep, view? For that precise view, and I did so publicly, as I did the Ghanaian church, as I did the Nigerian church, and uh, some of the others haven't yet been caught, but uh, they will get the but same we rebuke. We don't rebuke the churches here that teach that too. No, we do. Well, we don't, because they've given privilege Well, if in, you in... give me, if you send me, here's a promise. You send me details of a church that is uh, saying something like that, and I will ensure that there is a disciplinary process against <laughs> the clergy you said it. Well, they're hard on There are three. 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 There are three churches in my local area, and the ministers in those churches signed a declaration to say that if conversion therapy was banned, they would still continue, continue to, to offer it. it. Yeah. And well, this is in a student I, area in Birmingham. We know it right, I have, before. there are in this country uh, 15,000 churches. I honestly cannot monitor what's said in every But you've got bishops to do that. I know, but, but they, they have, have if you, and let me finish deems. before you interrupt, because I've been listening to you, you can listen to me. I send you the details with that bit of paper and their names at the bottom of it, and I will take action. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Thank you. Is that good enough? Yes. It's very good of you to come out. Now you will prepare for it. And then I've got to go and, <laughs> got to go and <laughs> I've got to go and do a little talk to 90 MPs, including Ben. Yes. Thank yes. you. Well, thank you for coming thank out. You. Yeah, thank well, you. get some coffee, because it's thank waiting you. a few out there. Seriously, it's very good. Okay. Thank you. Take thank care. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>